Knowing how to leverage mix bus compression is essential for anybody mixing audio. It's all about subtly enhancing your song by controlling transients and dynamics, maximizing loudness, and gluing all of the individual elements together into a cohesive whole. In this video, we're gonna check out a few different techniques for mix bus compression featuring one of my favorite compressors, the Manly Variable Moo. Now the Manly Variable Moo plugin is perfect for this application with its warm tube sound, transparent design, and powerful features like mid side mode for precise control over stereo imaging and a dry wet control for one knob parallel compression. Let's dive in and check out three different ways to harness the power of mix bus compression to take your tracks to the next level. For any type of mix bus compression, you're going to want to use a compressor that has a variable attack, release, and threshold, as well as a sidechain filter. Now, dedicated mix bus compressors like the Manly Varimu typically have all these features, and they're usually designed to be as transparent as possible, which makes them great for this application. Now, the most common settings that you'll find for mix bus compressors is a slow attack and a fast release. Now, the slow attack lets transients through untouched so you maintain some of your dynamics, and the fast release lets the compressor recover quickly to maintain some loudness and punchiness. Speeding up the attack will let you shape the transients a little bit more and make the compressor grab on harder to the incoming signal. Now it's important to note that most mix bus compressors like the Verimu have a relatively slow attack speed. So even at their fastest settings, they're still much slower than other compressors like an 1176. Now on the other hand, slowing down the release will make the compression softer and lower the overall volume of the track as more gain reduction is applied to the track as a whole. Now slower release times can be useful for particularly dynamic mixes where faster release times can cause audible pumping, but it will take some of the energy away from the track. Now finally, the sidechain filter makes the compressor less reactive to low frequencies like kick and bass, letting you maintain some more energy in the low end and more precisely control other elements of the mix. Let's go ahead and hear what those settings sound like. Every man needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. The soul in wonder, the belly must have hunger, he needs the vultures. And every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he cannot climb, to keep the head humble, the hands from trouble, he can't be comfortable. Now nine times out of 10, when I'm using mix bus compression, this is how I have it set up. And you'll notice that the effect is pretty subtle, but that's what we're going for here. Now in some cases, I might wanna be a little more heavy handed with the compression. For example, when working on heavier styles of music like rock and metal. This lets me get even more transient shaping and add even more energy to the mix. In this case, I would lower the threshold a bit to get more gain reduction, speed up the attack to shape the transients a little bit more and make the compressor grab on a little bit harder, and then pull down that mix knob to blend in some of the dry signal and maintain some of the original dynamics. Let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. Every man needs a nemesis desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures And every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb To keep the head humble the hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. The next technique we're gonna check out is mid-side compression, which is great for when you want a little more control over the stereo image of your mix. Now mid-side mode lets us compress the mono elements of the mix separately from the stereo elements. Now I usually reach for this type of compression when my mix is sounding a little narrow and I wanna widen it up a little bit. 
Now my general approach here will be to keep the mono elements nice and punchy with that slow attack and fast release, but keep the stereo elements at a more consistent level to avoid pumping and other artifacts that can be pretty distracting, especially when listening on headphones. Now the whole point of mid-side processing is to compress the mono channel separately from the side channel, so it's really important that you unlink both the side chain and the controls to let both sides of the plugin operate independently from each other. Now let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. Now you may have noticed with the settings that I ended on, the output on the side channel is a little bit higher than the output on the mid channel. And that's pretty typical of when I use mid side compression. Even before the differences in compression, just boosting the output on the side channel will instantly make the mix wider, which is what I was going for here. The last technique we're gonna check out is using mix bus compression for transient control to maximize loudness. Now in this example, we're gonna use the Manly Verimu in limit mode, which uses a higher four to one ratio and a sharper knee, so more gain reduction is applied to any signal that crosses above the threshold. We're also gonna use a higher threshold so that only the loudest parts of the signal are affected, and we're gonna use the fastest attack time so the compressor can really grab onto those transients. Now the goal with this setup is to transparently compress only the loudest peaks, so that we can then increase the output volume and raise the overall level of the mix without those transients peaking above zero dB. I'm also going to leave the sidechain filter disabled, so the compressor can catch any peaks in the low frequencies as well. Let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. So much less Cause my utmost ain't enough To call humanity And every time I reach the top My motivation now but stops And I go right back to the source Of my insanity Hopefully that gives you some new ideas For how to use mix bus compression on your tracks Whether you're looking to glue things together Fine tune your stereo image Or maximize loudness the Manly Verimu is one of my favorite compressors for this application, but you can apply these concepts to any other compressor with these kinds of standard controls. Manly Variable Moo runs natively on Mac and Windows and is available for individual purchase today or on subscription as part of U80 Spark. For more info, make sure to check out the product manual at help.uaudio.com and don't forget to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more videos like these. I'll see you next time.